Hello everyone and welcome to my very first Let's Play video. This is Tempest Gaming, also known as Tempest from Team Paradigm for Gilders 2. And this will be my very first video on my second channel which was called Tempest Gaming LP. Uh, I am splitting up my Gilders 2 videos from my Let's Play videos because, well, people want to have uh, channel solely for Guild Wars 2 content, and that will still be uh, my main upload channel anyway. So, as far as Let's Play concerns, I'm going to start with Mass Effect 3. My original plan was to start with Mag Mass Effect 1, then 2, and then 3, but um, I have already played and finished Mass Effect 2. So, I don't really feel like I want to repeat that, even though it is a great game and to be fair it wouldn't really bother me that much however I have not played Mass Effect 1 yet and I also do not have that game so um, I would basically I would want to do Mass Effect 1 but I already played Mass Effect 2 so I don't really feel it, it just feels weird to play the, the newer game uh, the, the older game if you've already played the newer game. Anyway, Mass Effect 3. Now, I've already started playing this one with a like a new character because I don't have my Mass Effect 2, 2 save file, but I quickly realized that I was very much restricted in the way I could respond to situations very much. So what I've decided to do is I searched a Mass Effect 2 save file, you can find many of them online, and I looked for a Paragon one where with all the characters survived from the suicide mission in Mass Effect 2 so that I would not get locked out of content that I want to play. Uh, that's basically what, why I um, why I did that. Now Uh, important Mass Effect 2, so this is not my character, it's just a character that has gone the pretty much the full uh, Paragon route, so uh, pretty much everything positive. So, and apparently, and he also did Mass Effect 1 on this, but uh, because Romans Liara. Uh, but not saying one in Mass Effect 2, so I didn't even know that when I downloaded the file. Okay, so basically, I'm going to stick with the standard one because, well, I don't really care for for sitting in a and the character customization screen for ages. So. But, however, I'm not going to stick with Soldier, I'm going to take Infiltrators, because that's what I played in Mass Effect 2, and I quite enjoy, like, the sniper playstyle. So, Infiltrators, and that was probably one of the quickest character creations you have ever seen. Yes, I'm going to go with it. Um, before I start, one more thing quickly is... So, I'm starting this character, I did not play it, but um, since it, I know pretty much what the full Paragon route did in Mass Effect 2, since that's roughly how I play it, well, I had, in the end I had about equal Renegade and Paragon, but um, I, I can somewhat see me taking the choices of the Paragon in any way, so, but the main reason why I want to do this is because, well, everyone had to survive in the suicide mission, else I will have like quite a few missions that I can't play, and I want to show, well, well of course I want to do every single mission I can, so that's basically what I do, why I did this, I mean, and another, like, n not so direct reason is, now I can play Mass Effect 3 the way I want to and not be punished by, by like the, the score system. I've heard enough out of it and basically I know that I can make very bad decisions and still 
go get like very bad endings, but I'm just gonna play the game the way I wanna play it, answer what I think is right, and that's basically it. So, let's start the game. Electronic Arts Presents. I'm not gonna read everything. A Bioware production. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not, Not long. long. Uh, word. The fleets are mobilizing. Predictable. God help us all. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm too late for this already. You can read, you can pause the video if you want to read it. But one soldier has seen the legend come to life. Wonder who that is. I was gonna say, that's very weird movements for a fighter like that. Yeah, because that one was in a straight line. Hi there, Shepard. Commander, you're not supposed uh, to call me that anymore, James. Chain. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. Maybe a character from Mass Effect you. 1. Sounds important. At least I don't think he was in Mass Effect 2. What's going on? <laughs> Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. <laughs> Happy face. Anderson. Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft bed. <laughs> we'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is humor. Such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. <gasps> Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? <laughs> if I knew that. We should have prepared more. I don't think there was any preparation possible. So and it's yeah, it's Reapers. Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. Agreed. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. Uh, I blew helped. two up. Thank you very much. You know more about this enemy than anyone. Okay, the one in Mass Effect 2 wasn't yet fully made, but... You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> and so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes. So the only guy in the universe that was going to try and stop the Reapers yeah, was gonna know. get, like, trialed and discharged. Right. Good luck in there, Shepard. <laughs> Luck. What's luck gonna do against Reapers? Anderson. Oh look. Shepard. Ashley. Lieutenant Commander. How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander. You hadn't heard. No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. <laughs> That seriously, they couldn't use like another word than loop two times. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you, Admiral. <laughs> Come on. I guess not, likewise. 
smug. You know the commander? I used to. What does that mean? Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? <laughs> we were hoping you would tell us. Um... The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? <laughs> you don't. Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But, there must be some way. Um... Well, it's pretty much impossible to defeat them. At least, we don't know about any way to defeat them. So, focus should be survival. Then again, what happened to the Protheans? Eventually they got extinct. Like, they probably tried to run, and then they got extinct. So, maybe... Uh, sheer numbers, if we get everyone together. Not just humans, but like everything in the world, in the universe. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Uh, Sir, giant lasers? He's dead. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? <laughs> what do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Or we fight and we die. <gasps> oh, that's such a suspicious zoom out. Oh my god. Uh, yep. Hi there. happen to know which building to shoot, right? Like, oh, I guess they could have hacked, like, data centers and I don't know what. This seems a little bit too convenient. Shepard! Come on, get up! Here, take this! We've got to get moving! <laughs> Yay, again! Report it, anyone! Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? Hmm. I can't raise the normal. You'll have to contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Suddenly everything goes boom. <laughs> Look at that Reaper. They're massive. Come on, Chuck. Ashley's headed to the normal. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's move. Okay, I have to admit that model is like amazing. Reaper. 
really is. Whoa. <laughs> Don't watch down. <laughs> Don't look down. I like people. Wow, really? I mean, even these trees are like 3D sprites, and they're gonna put like 2D moving sprites in the. for. yeah. Plan. Look out! <laughs> How are you running? <laughs> Um, you don't, I think. Should we be moving that way? I mean, maybe he has already seen us? I don't know. Oops. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. <laughs> I can't get over how he's moving. Let's go. Wow, that was hard. I just hold spacebar and does everything for me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the nice run animation. It's hilarious. Uh oh. Dang. Should I have fighters as well? Um are you he stopped moving, I guess. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Run. Like I, I love this scenery. Like, just watch this. That's something that they were really good at in Bioware. Is just like creating, well, like creating great scenes of like. Not really realistic, realistic, but just they feel like they can happen. And not to mention, they actually work pretty well on lower end computers as well. Like, hey, wait. Well, I guess that makes sense. That's the kid, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoying the view. Come on. We'll have to go this way. Uh, yeah, because there is obviously no other path. Um, I'm actually wondering something. Since I am loaded the file up, yeah, I can. I can actually put powers in. Um, interesting. Okay, so... That's my cloak. Okay. I'm actually gonna do that now. Well, I'm gonna do it off screen and then... And then we'll continue the next episode. It was, like, not really a play... <laughs> gameplay heavy episode, but... Well, it's the first the first LP episode I do, so might as well take the time to properly explain things. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Next time we continue with the very first mission. See you next time.